sure what action we should take when we are stuck with a patient who is suffering from a terminally illness. So Dr. R.K. Mani, who has done a lot of work on end-of-life issues, and he's rather the pioneer and he has been uh, one of the major person, rather the chairperson, who had written the guidelines under the aegis of Indian Society of Critical Care Medicine. So Dr. Mani, what are the ethical principle of end of life? Let's start from there. Yes, it's very fundamental. You know, how a critically ill patient and the physician are related. Any uh, uh, decision pertaining to the patient should be passed through the sieve of the four ethical principles, which is autonomy, beneficence, non-maleficence, and social justice. To be uh, brief, uh, autonomy means your um, respect to the person, the whole person, not just the, as a disease entity. Beneficence is a fiduciary relationship between doctor and patient, which means doctor is obliged to act for the benefit of the patient at all times. And non-maleficent means is obliged not to do any harm. It is not just to the physiological uh, state of the person, it is to the whole person. A person in terms of personality, you know, and his interests as a person. Social justice is a little more difficult to understand because it's not directly the doctor to the individual patient, but it is to the society as a whole. Because the society is spending, uh, you know, money in some total, uh, it's a very resource intensive a care, intensive care is, so the, the economics and the resource availability also have to be a part of your decision making process, whether you are utilizing them appropriately or not. You know, uh, Article 21 is right to live and now there is a lot of change in interpretation of Article 21. So does it include right to die as well? You see, I think Article 21 deals with life, it doesn't deal with dying. It says there's a right to life. And the Supreme Court of India in Gyan Court, Court uh, versus the state of Punjab has uh, pronounced that it also includes a dignified process of death. Because